Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a video that is very different. I don't actually remember the last time I did a QA. and a I think I've done a Q&A before on here, but it was quite a long time ago. So it's gonna be all about asking me questions about psychic abilities, anything you really wanted to ask me. So let's get started. So one of the first questions is, it was asked a couple of times and it was, do you have a boo? Do you have a partner? No, I don't. I live through you guys. I do love readings and I basically live through you guys. That's basically what I do. I don't have a relationship. I haven't had one for, as of filming this video, about five years, possibly nearly six years now, actually. The best dating advice I can give you guys is to not seek it out, let it go, let it come to you when it happens and to not force it. Like the only time I was completely miserable was when I was basically just going after any person and it was very, it was not very good. It was not very healthy and it was very, very uncomfortable. Literally, it made me hate being single. And the only time I really actually enjoyed being single was when I wasn't seeking out a partner, wasn't seeking out dating people and I'm just living my life and just focusing on what I love. And the one thing that really I learned actually was one, not to call it single. Like obviously I use that in my videos and stuff, but I call it just not being in a relationship because the word single just has this really uncomfortable ring to it. Like so many people think being single is just like the end of your life. Like you might as well just be dead. And it's like, no, it shouldn't be like that. It should be, an amazing experience where you basically just experience yourself like you get to experience who you are how you appreciate things what you appreciate what you want what you deserve what you don't deserve these are all the things that you get to learn and it's basically just experimenting about yourself and obviously you can date people like i'm open to dating i'm open to dating people i've always have been but it's just the right timing you just got to find out when the right timing is for you and it's basically the relationship like i always say in my pick of cards a relationship is not an end goal it will be part of your life and that's a really good place to be in i've discovered like for me from when i was really young i've always wanted a relationship basically that's just the way it went so that's your answer now i'm not in a relationship i want one but i'm not willing to compromise and i'm also not willing to be with someone who it's just selfish and just doesn't appreciate me. So I wanna be with someone who we're just two individual people coming together and being a beautiful bond instead of just two people wanting something from each other and it's just yucky and toxic and you know, just something that's very spiritual and and just authentic. So with this in mind, we're gonna talk about soulmates. So you guys asked me, can you discuss your views on soulmates and soul family? Yes, I won't go too deep into it because I could go on for a long time. Literally, guys, I have Libra in my chart. I got cancer in my chart. I'm, I love relationships, <laughs> so, so I do so many love readings. So can you discuss your views on soulmates? 100%, soulmates, soul family, pretty much the same thing. I feel like your soulmate, this is all my opinion by the way, just take it as it, you know, as you feel like it's right for you. Soul family is just a family that you meet through another soul from somebody else. Most likely it's not your family, blood, blood related. Your soulmate is part of that soul family. So you'd meet your soulmate, like your actual one mate through that group of people. I feel like we'll meet their soul family, like people who really, really appreciate them find there's an authentic connection there and they'll meet their partner along with it because it's kind of like you're ready for that type of commitment i don't think a lot of people are ready for a soul family commitment at the moment because we're going through such a transitional phase from going from a really like a 5d 3d to a 5d connection really the society has really taken the love out of a lot of our connections and that's what they want because if you don't have love and connection you can't come together so it's really important for you to find your authenticity and to really find like the softness within you that will help you find your soul tribe like the more perfectionism and the more like you restrict yourself and make yourself feel really raw and like i'm never going to meet anyone it's going to be really awful that's just going to make you feel like rubbish you know it's not going to prevent you from meeting people but it's really understanding what you don't want in a connection and what you do want in a connection that's kind of the sort of thing that you're looking for so i've had a few questions about being a psychic naira asked when did you decide to become a psychic reader and why any specific reason Reese's which is when and how did you discover your abilities Emma when did you notice you were psychic there's a gift or intuition in all of us and can be trained or both so 100% everyone's psychic everyone's intuitive it's a thing that we have especially in women females biologically we are extremely psychic men are 100% psychic too but I'm talking about women in particular because 
Women have a natural nurturing energy. We're all born with it. It's a female intuition because we are natural nurturers. We're trained from our DNA to, you know, care for, ch for, the, for the child, if we bear a child, if we get, get a baby. Our natural intuition, we know when something's off. It's only when we ignore it, when things start to kind of go downhill or, you know, things like that. And it's because we've gone, most of us, on this planet have gone through trauma because we're not in a tribe we're in a society that thrives off of us being weak and insecure so basically we have possibly parents who can you know who can't sustain us emotionally and basically i'm going off track <laughs> but if you are training it 100 percent, you can get so much better it's kind of like any like exercise any muscle you can basically just train it how did i discover my abilities uh, i discovered my abilities through living my life <laughs> i was never told that it was psychic i was just it's just who i am i am a triple water sign with virgo rising so i have a lot of water in me it does help the psychic abilities being a scorpio and i know so many scorpios every reading i do for a scorpio so intuitive and every reading i do for like cancers or pisces i always get like so many like synchronistic messages they're always so synchronistic they're, all the cards always match up all the time of course every single star sign is psychic in my chart specifically it also says that i am like naturally very very psychic i basically live my life through being psychic so every time i'd be like okay hey, what do i wear today and i'd imagine what i'd wear and like i'd imagine walking out the door wearing that clothing i'd be like oh okay i'd wear that that and that and if something felt off i would feel it if someone was um if someone's energy was off and they had a lot of shadow work to do i'd feel it something that's really good advice for people who are very sensitive highly sensitive empath star seeds is to not judge someone by their energy um if you're very sensitive you'd normally pick up on their energy before you pick up on them as a person and that's something that i'm learning to not do i don't do that anymore because i'm i'm very good at like protecting my energy now because of the fact that i do readings pretty much every day it's really important to look at someone as they are and it's really good in relationships too to look at somebody that is their behavior to not go off by always what they say and go off by what they do when and how did i discover uh, i've always been intuitive ever since i was extremely young i've been psychic since i was about seven so when i was about seven i've uh, always been intuitive i was more aware of my abilities when i actually just started my channel um i started my channel in january 2019 which is crazy to think it literally feels like it was like five years ago i did a reading for somebody and they know who they are like they she's amazing she's an amazing client to me i did have a five minute read she came back to me she was like that was the most accurate thing i've ever had and i'm like me like are you talking to me like i didn't think that that was a thing and she said can i have a yearly reading or was like a 60 minute reading or something and i was like yeah sure uh, of course and i literally felt like my life purpose literally kicked into high gear i was like this is what i meant to do like it felt so incredibly right bearing in mind i'd literally done a photography course for three years and had very manipulative tutors so it took me a while to get off of that train of basically just working with my mental health and the main thing that really helped me um basically initiate these abilities more because you need space to basically get the messages is to meditate anna she said anything about spiritual awakening and relationships this is a long one so i'm going to try and keep it short you guys know i love to talk and when you go through a spiritual awakening it can be through a relationship it can be through any type of relationship family friends even an animal it can be like through an animal maybe there's like a death it wakes you up to you know another life i don't know it's like it's like so many different ways with relationships if you are your most awakened self which is where you are right now you know you're on this path but if you haven't really looked into your past if you haven't looked into like childhood trauma and things like that because that basically shapes us if you keep repeating the same exact pattern and you keep like basically attracting the exact same person in a different body it's because there's a part of you that hasn't been recognized and it's basically a part of you that needs to be looked into and there's no shame in that actually it's fucking empowering because you can be like i have control now so this is a beautiful question i'm obsessed with this question i think it was lovely i don't know how to pronounce your uh, name but it's i Hercules. It is a wonderful message of positive sexuality in today's world as I come from a country that is still very traditional and judgmental. I have a strong admiration for a woman who can do that publicly and freely like you do. I was reading it like, oh my God, you're so nice. I'd like to be able to do this. Hello, Mars Scorpio. Any hint about how to overcome the fear of judgment when engaging in sexual related topics? So first of all, this is gonna be a whole nother like video if I don't stop myself. You have Scorpio in your chart for a reason, girl. Like you're meant to be very open about it. If you have Scorpio, you're here to basically bring stuff to light. It's not the most fun, especially if you are a very sensitive one because basically it means that you have to 
kind of go through some shit. I mean, everyone goes through shit, but Scorpios, oh my God, because we're so like ruled by transformation, it's just really intense. To overcome the fear of judgment, basically it's just to talk about it to yourself more and be more open. It's, it's kind of interesting because I've always been very comfortable talking about it. Um, when I obviously in with company that will receive it well, <laughs> if, it's, if it's like somebody that won't receive it well, I won't talk about it, but it's something for me I'm extremely passionate about. I will gladly talk about it because it's just, I feel super comfortable talking about it. I mean, it helps I have Scorpio, uh, Sun and Mercury, but one thing that can really help you is to basically explore yourself in different ways. So one thing is to ask yourself why you have such a hard time talking about it. And probably like you said, a country that is still very traditional and judgmental. How, how can you basically be comfortable in a place that makes you feel uncomfortable? So one thing is to move out, <laughs> go babbage and I'm moving. And, um, that could be one thing, that's very extreme, but that could be one thing. So I feel like one thing that's really helped me was to not date and not to, be around people that I wasn't fully comfortable with. If you fully don't date, it's actually amazing because what it does, it's not to say you're not available. Yes, you're still available, but you are not putting yourself you know, out there. I hate that word, but like putting yourself out there to constantly be available for everyone. Like you wanna make sure you're available for, for you and then you'll be available for other people. So for me as someone who's very highly sensitive and empathic is I take on other people's energy so if i'm around very very toxic men um i take that on it's not fun it's pretty rank actually because i'm still discovering who i am we all still are you're not forcing it you're not pushing it you're not going on dating sites also is to not have sex with random people <laughs> i don't like i don't think that's a bad thing i think you express yourself in the way you want to i'm not against it at all i think it's your body you do whatever the f you want to do with it girl i think it's an amazing way to figure out what you want I um, mean, you might even meet a partner that way. Not very like likely, but you can. Basically just not do stuff with people. Um, I found that fucking healing, ironically. <laughs> very, very healing. Also is to not talk about it to people who won't appreciate it. I never thought I needed to talk about 18 plus readings. Like, I never thought, I was like, oh, you know, I don't think people want to watch that because it's about intimacy. Part of me was like, I don't know. But I was like, do you know what? I'll try it, we'll see how it goes. And I got just so much engagement, I was like, okay <laughs> because it was just you know what it's probably one of the most healing things in my fucking life because people appreciated my advice but it was coming from such an authentic place like whenever i talk about intimacy it will always be from an authentic place like it won't be you know you need to thrash that hoe or you know do that dude <laughs> Do you know what? This is the most disgusting talk. It will never be like that. I also love your other question. I'm gonna read your other question just to kind of highlight the next the next thing. What brought you to it? What experience made you realize it was past to follow? It made me realize it because I just wanted to. It was no kind of like God shone his beautiful light on me and was like, girl, do YouTube. It was, it was never like that. I actually have been on YouTube since 2012 love it this is what i'm meant to be doing this is literally this is what i'm meant to be doing now it's a way to express your creativity and the fact that like i saw okay just to put it out there like what i actually really started it was i saw kaylee jean on youtube um she's an amazing psychic i love her i love her energy she's a scorpio too i found kaylee jean's video and i saw a july scorpio uh reading and i was like i was like literally like I was like, step back, bitch. Like, wait, hang on. We're allowed to do like this on like online. Like I literally was like so taboo about it, even though I have family who are very spiritual. It's not like I'm not allowed to express it. It's just, I felt like society just didn't accept it because I was never accepted as a hippie. <laughs> it's like, oh, you like crystals? Oh, you must be a hippie. It's like, so what? Like I am a hippie, like get over it. And now crystals are, are very, very in like society now. Like you can literally buy crystals from ASOS. Anyway, I'm digressing. So Kaylee Jean did this video and I was like, okay, this is what I need to do. So I took one of my mum's card decks and I started doing it and that's what you see in my first video. Another one is, I would like to know how you're able to differentiate between communicating with guides and the internal chatter. Thanks, I look forward to hearing from you as it will help me a lot. It isn't always easy, but intuition will always flow. Intuition will feel easy or feel like you're not even thinking about it. Anxiety and mental chatter will feel rough and intense, like kind of like a rough sea. It's kind of like you just want to get out. It's like, get out, bitch. Like, no, I don't want to be in there. So that's basically how it would feel like. Also, you don't feel like you can trust it. You feel a little bit of like, oh, I'm not too sure. It doesn't feel comfortable. So the next one is, do I believe in reincarnation and past lives? One million percent. So what does it mean when your ears ring? I've never had that before. Um, when your ears ring, for me, I personally believe it's spirit guides around you being like, hi, bitch. 
gonna give you a message at some point. <laughs> Something is normally to do with that. So this is from Agnet, Agnet123. What helps you best in clearing your energy field as an empath? What helps me best clear myself is crystals. So selenite is really good at helping you clear. It really helps me is to shake after I have done a reading. So having a shower is also really good. Washing your hands is really good. Uh, washing your hands is also good most of the time but if you want to clear yourself washing your hands is great especially if you've been touching your cards incense is really good so the main thing i would say is to basically say what i do is i put my hands out i close my eyes and i say i release any energy that no longer serves me now thank you i take deep breath in and out and i just shake it i just push it over me just so it's like off me and it honestly it really helps cord cutting I always do this when I call cut because I literally do this when I call cut. Uh, that's also amazing because you need to get away from the energy sometimes. If you're thinking about somebody constantly, they're taking away your energy. <clears throat> Basically, I'm getting throat chakra stuff as confirmation from my guides. So thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate all your questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want me to do another one like this, I will highly... Oh, I want to do another one. So if you want me to do another one, let me know. Um, you can ask me any questions, even, even more personal if you want to. Thumbs up if you want to. I don't ever say that, but if you want to, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. I also do private readings. So if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. And also my crystal shop is down below as well. I'm always changing up all the crystals. So if you guys want to have a look, please do. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.